Ohio carried over their momentum from their come from behind win against Miami to beat Kent State at home tonight. The last time these two teams met, Ohio lost by one point earlier in January, but the Bobcats brought the thunder and rolled over the Golden Flashes 88 to 76, putting Ohio 5 and 10 in the MAC. With Jordan Dardis sinking threes and Ohio keeping Kent State's Adonis De La Rosa at bay, from the start, Ohio set the tone for the rest of the night. Ohio held a lead the entire game, including going on a 13-2 run with about two minutes left of action in the first. Both teams shooting over 50% and Ohio capping 47 points by the end of the first half. The Cats kept the power in the second, with the true freshman Tavion Kirk going on an eight-point run along. Gavin Block suffered a hand injury halfway through the second with the score 62-60, but Block returned to recharge the offense with a layup, igniting a 14-0 run, bridging the scoring gap. Dardis led the way for the Bobcats, totaling 20 points, shooting 7-15 from field goal range and 5-10 from three-point range. Kirk was right behind him, scoring 17 points for the team. Ohio had five players in double figures by the end of the night. Kirk notices the team finally meshing on offense. We're doing great on offense, just getting everybody involved, just making everybody a threat. Kent State head coach Rob Senderoff tipped his hat off to Ohio's dominant performance. I don't want to take any credit away from them. They deserve credit for how they played. 19 assists, you know, shoot 55% from the field. They, they deserve credit. I just, I'm disappointed because uh, we've shown that we can defend better. But the Bobcats couldn't be stopped shooting 42% from beyond the arc, doubling Kent State's 24%. Coach Saul Phillips was very pleased with the team's win and revived offense. It's the product of a, of a motion-based offense. I think our cuts are getting better, uh, but it's also the maturation of a point guard. Boy, it, it's starting to look pretty fun out there. Uh, we're, we're edging toward being that type of team that you don't want to see in the tournament in a hurry. Win puts Ohio 12 and 15 on the season. Ohio will hit the road next to face Buffalo Saturday. With just a few more games left in regular season and the MAC tournament on the horizon, the Bobcats are looking to get their first third consecutive win on the season. Tip off is set for 3:30 p.m. For WOUB Sports, I'm Kelly Institz.